awesome. Me too. I bet. Me too. Appreciate everybody coming uh, to the game and covering the game. I appreciate everybody being here tonight to visit with us. Um, first of all, I, I'm just so proud of these of these kids, of the whole organization, because um, they persevere. Um, you know, we've been talking about perseverance that this whole program, this whole community, the whole university has been through, and I think this team exemplifies that. Uh, they're gritty. They're hard nosed. They never stop believing in themselves. They never stop believing in Penn State. Um, they never stop believing in, in each other. So really, really proud of them. Uh, winning minimizes issues. Losing magnifies issues. The issues are still there. We have to get better. But the most important part is we're able to come on, uh, come on the road in a hostile environment and stick together. Thought the defense played extremely well from top to bottom. Um, I thought the special teams um, did their job. I mean, their number one was a real concern for us coming into the game. We were able to minimize him with our kick locations and things like that. Um, obviously, he can't have a blocked punt. Um, but for the most part, I thought we, we played pretty well on teams. Um, and then on offense, it was not pretty. It was not pretty. Uh, we still got to get the running game going. We got to consistently be able to protect but once again, guys, guys just found ways to make plays when they needed. You know, you look at the you look at the time. We have a huge play. We hit the crossing route. We get a holding penalty. It comes back. We get a huge play. We hit Jesse James to win the game. It comes back, and a lot of teams would just crumble there, or they'd start pointing fingers and complaining, and they don't. They just they just keep believing in one another. So great team win. You know, five interceptions on defense. Uh, defense allowed only three first downs in the second half and only 95 total yards. Deshaun and Gino over 100 yards for the second time in three games, two guys in the same game. Offense in the second half had 13 first downs and 271 yards. And we're 3-0 for the first time since 2009. So a lot of real positives. We're going to enjoy uh, this win tonight. These night games make it difficult because our our enjoyment will be on the plane ride back, and then we will wake up tomorrow morning, uh, be very honest with ourselves, be very critical of things that we can get better, uh, clean up the Rutgers game, and get started on, who do we play next week? UMass. UMass, and we'll start focusing on UMass, because that's who they tell us we play next week. Open it up for questions. Jay, James. You, you said uh, earlier this year that you're not one for emotional speeches. Do you feel any need to get out the material at halftime tonight? No, um, I did. I just, I just was. I just told him the situation. Uh, we were down by ten. Uh, thought our defense had played well. We hadn't played great on offense, uh, but we're down by ten. You know, our defense kept us in the game. We had to go out and play together. Um, they were going to get the ball to start the half. That was going to be an important drive. We talked about that, but that that was really it. That was really it. I, I do most of my speeches Sunday through Friday about decision making off the field about doing a great job in the classroom and about what it's going to take for us to find a way to get a win. Um, that's, that's, that's what we do. I, I, I don't really do a whole lot of the gung-ho speeches before the game or halftime. If we got to get them fired up, then, then we got problems. James, can you talk about the composure, particularly of Christian in the fourth quarter and, and, and of the receivers and, and how they handle things? Yeah, I, I think you know, the thing with Christian I've been so impressed with, you know, obviously he's a talented guy. And um, you know when you're getting pressured and sacked as many times that he's getting, and when our running game is not where we want it to be, puts a lot on his shoulders. Um, and I think the receivers have made plays for him, the tight ends have made plays for him. We did get a little bit the running game going there in the second half, but um, I, I think he's handled that all extremely well. There's a couple times where he shows emotion, which I think is fine. But overall, he's poised, he's steady. Um, and like I told you guys before, he's a lot more athletic than I think people realize. He's, he's been able to move the pocket and break some tackles and extend plays uh, and pick up some yards with his feet, so it's been big. James, Trevor Williams lost his starting job last way midway through the season toward the end of the season. How do you think he played tonight, and has he kind of separated himself in your eyes there at that position battling for that spot opposite Jordan? Yeah, I, I can't talk about what happened last year. Trevor's been playing great for us all along. Um, I think it's been helpful that we're getting uh, more reps from Grant Haley. I think that's been helpful for us. Um, you know, same with Jordan. We've been able to kind of rotate those guys and get them off the field a little bit. 
but I got tremendous confidence in those guys. I really do. Um, so I, you know, I don't want to talk about last year. I want to talk about what we did tonight and what we're doing this season. James, seems like you had two tough decisions. You opted for the thick and field goal rather than going for it on fourth and two. Then you had Chris, uh, Christian uh, quick kick it there. That was a great decision, wasn't it? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Can you run us through those? Yeah, the uh, the quick kick. Sometimes we'll, we'll we'll do that. It's a check with me. If they give us single coverage, then we got a chance <laughs> to throw the ball. And if they don't, you know, uh, quick kick it. You know. They went into prevent defense. I should have burned a timeout. That was on me. That was a poor decision. I'm going to learn from that, um, take responsibility for that. Um, but besides that, you know, I think the block field goal early on was, 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 was a big play. Um, Sam usually does a great job of getting height on kicks. That's why sometimes he struggles with kickoff because he gets so much height and you've got to be able to drive the ball. Um, but you know, they, they were big plays. They were big plays and they were big decisions. And the one decision I'd like to have over again. Talking about big plays, talk about Geno Lewis's ability to make a big play late in the game. Yeah, he's done it all year long. He did it in practice. He did it all spring. Um, he's, he's, he's really done it all year long. I've been, I've been really, really happy with him. Um, he stepped up for us time and time again when we needed him to. I think the fact that we got guys on either side, um, Deshaun as well, uh, really making some plays in the tight ends. And I think, you know, the O-line, you know, we can be critical. Um, if you guys want to be critical, be, be critical with me. i got to do a better job of coaching those guys and get them ready. I'm proud of them because they fought. And it wasn't always pretty, but they fought for each other. They fought for this team. And when, when we needed them to, they were able to protect and they were able to open some holes. So we got to get better. If anybody wants to criticize anybody, please criticize me. James, in, in the last uh, 19 minutes of the game, you guys scored all your points. Was there anything you guys changed? from you know, a suspect point of view, or was it just a matter of Hackenberg and, and, and some players stepping up? What, what was the difference in that? Well, two things. We made less mistakes in the second half, and we made more plays. I mean, how many of them receiver screens did we just drop? You know, And it might not seem like much, but it gets you six yards. A couple times we had cut the corner, and it, the sideline was wide open. You know, we, just, we, we made some mistakes in the first half. We made less mistakes in the second half, um, and we made more plays. I mean, you know, it's it's really that simple. Um, you know, I, I I don't really see it a whole lot different than that. I thought we tried to do some things, move in the pocket and things like that, that that helped us as well. But you know, it's it's a tough situation calling a game like that when you when you're not consistently be able to run the ball and you're not consistently able to protect. The second time in three games that your quarterback has led you down the field uh, on a game-winning drive. What does it say for the sophomore about his leadership and maturity? Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any doubt. It, it has, it, you know, Christian's, you know, he, he's light years ahead of a true sophomore in terms of, I mean, to me, you, you, you uh, grade quarterbacks on third down percentage, red zone, and wins and losses. And, and you know, the wins and losses are the most important thing and, and come back fourth quarter drives. And he's done those things. So really, really proud of him. Um, you know, when we were coming off the field, I think the other reason we were coming off the field, the Big Ten Network pulled me to the side. They said, look, you know, we really want to make sure this is a big game and the ratings are high, so let's, let's drag it out um, and make it exciting there at the end. I'm kidding, guys. You guys are looking at me. I tried to make a joke. It didn't go well. But um, we found a way. We found a way at the end. Uh, we got we to get better. We got to get better. James, at a certain point, though, I mean, for as great as Hackenberg's been you know, in these first three games, if you don't protect him better, if you don't get more of a, uh, a running game going, how worried about you, are you about his durability going forward and being able to, to stay upright for a 11, 12 game schedule? Yeah, we we got to we got to protect him and we got to run the ball more. Yeah, James, I agree with you. You were calling holding on Jesse James' touchdown while you guys were celebrating. What were you trying to impart on them at that moment? Well, we needed to get our composure and get on the field and get into the huddle and get the next play call. You know, they, they thought they thought the game was won and it wasn't. So I'm trying to get the composure and get them back in the huddle so we can get the play called to try to win the game again. Well, that, that was it. it was Did nothing. you have that play ready for that spot too? Sir? Did you have the play ready for that spot? The next no, because it wasn't the last play of the game. It was, we're gonna, we need to get them in the huddle. We need to look on our game plan and make the call that we're going to make. And that was part of the issue. I didn't want to get a delay of game because we're late getting the play in and we're not in the huddle. You know, so you know, we got to make sure we keep our composure in situations like that. James, you guys ran that same play again that you ran in Dublin with Andrew Nelson and Clemens Slot, and 
uh, Hack was able to come over and hit Chris Gowder. It seems like Chris continues to take on a bigger role. You guys, what are your impressions been of him so far? Yeah, he's been great in terms of he's a really mature kid for a true freshman. He's got very good hands, and he understands the offense. What we got to get him to do is got to get him to make more big plays. Right now I see him catching the ball, but he's not catching the ball with the mentality he's going to go score. He kind of catches it and is waiting to be tackled. So um, I, I think he's doing some really nice things for him, but I know who he can be, and we need him to take that next step in his development. James, you talked uh, a couple times this week and the week before about winning the turnover battle and the penalty battle. You did both tonight. What changed tonight over the last, and, you know, that wasn't working the last two weeks? Um, I, again, it's not like we started coaching things different. It's the same things. I, I, I thought Hack stayed patient and didn't get frustrated and didn't feel like he needed to do too much. He pulled the ball down and he ran. He threw the ball away a couple times, which is huge. And that's what you're trying to get young quarterbacks to do. Um, so you know, I, think, I think Ricky Ronnie does a great job. I think Hack's really grown in these three games as well. And he realizes that we got a really good defense. And it, you know they'll keep us in the game. You know we don't we don't have to score every single drive. You know it's it's not the end of the world to punt sometimes. You talked about Christian being kind of emotional a little bit. Is that a good thing for a quarterback as opposed to maybe internalizing when maybe there's some frustration? I, I think I, I think it's okay at times. And I'd say for 56 minutes he he was pretty poised and pretty calm and collected. It was times where he showed his emotion, which I think is good. I think, I, think, I think that's important. I think you need that as a leader. Um, so I, I, I'm really good with it. I'm, I'm real pleased with him and how he handles his business day in and day out. Um, you know, we got to get better as a team. You talked a lot about getting extra guys in the game for different positions. Were you happier with the rotation this, this game and maybe some of the guys that were here, Gary or Christian Campbell? Or... i got to look at that. I, you know, I'm not sure. Um, you know, one of the things that, that I think happens. We talked about this before. In tight games, guys are afraid to rotate guys. So I got to look at that. I'm not. I'm not sure. James, how can much you, of the, those five interceptions? Can you describe the guys yeah. in spirit. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. How much of the five interceptions that Noah threw tonight were, were your, you guys? Or how many of them were bad decisions by him? And going into this game, did you feel like you could force him as a guy who's turned the ball over a lot in his career to kind of make those bad throws? Yeah, I, I can't speak on that. I think I think we had a really good plan going into it. I think. Uh, I think Bob does a nice job with job with those things, uh, but I'd have to watch the film to determine that. I thought our guys were opportunistic. I thought you know they made some tough catches, they made some tough plays, and I think they were disciplined. Um, you know, so I thought that I thought that was really really important for us. Take two more. You, you've coached in a bunch of venues. What was this place like tonight? On this night, being there for the first big venue. I thought it was I thought it was really good. It was packed. There was energy, there was electricity. When the buses pulled in, there was a group of students that they were waving at us uh, with only one finger up and they were screaming <laughs> things at us and there was a lot of energy. Uh, we came into the stadium, the music was playing, it was kind of like a New York club scene. Um, I, I thought it was awesome. I think it's a, I think it's a great, I've never played here before. So I thought it was a great place to play. Yeah, you see over crossing on this team, they won on the road a lot and you, but you rarely see the type of emotion that they show after the game. How much of that do you think had to do with the talk coming from the Rutgers side about the start of a rivalry and things like that and the extra emotion? Uh, For us? You're talking about with us? You, with your upperclassmen and the emotion they showed after the game. No, I mean it was a huge win. That's, that's where the emotion came. It was a huge win right there at the end of the game. Um, you know, that's what it was. For us, it was, it was an opportunity to play together as a family and as a, as a brotherhood. Um, you know, we, we approach every single week the same way. This win tonight was no more important than the win that we had last week against um, Akron. Uh, our, the win before that against Central Florida. But that's how we approach it every single week. You know, we talk about execution. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.